What's happening, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the After Prison Show. I am Joe, and today I am going to be introducing all of you to a good friend of mine who I was incarcerated with. Probably shouldn't say that too loud, judging by, judging by, well, you can't really see it right now, but judging by the neighborhood that I'm in, this is like, this is like the hills that we're in right now. This guy that I'm going to be introducing you to, his name is Yanni. He is awesome. Most personable individual that I've ever met. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. All the way up. I'm all the way up. I'm all the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Show it what you want. Show it what you need. My next run game, we ain't never leave. The one, the only, my good friend. Where you at? Yon. Right here. This is Yanni, this is the guy that I was incarcerated with. Me and him spent over two years together at the last prison that I was at, Indian Creek. Yanni looks like a Hollywood movie star. I don't know, let's, let's, look, let's look at Yanni. Yanni, <laughs> show these people your face. Show them. Yeah, Hollywood movie star, for sure. Yeah, yeah, the guy that plays the dude sifting through the dumpster? That's me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm a real Hollywood star. You wouldn't even believe this, but there was actually, there was actually an acting class in the prison that we were at. Was there not? I pr you promised you weren't gonna bring this up. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Okay, yes, they're. Uh, ugh, I don't. I mean, how hardcore you said can you, you be? You were not gonna talk about how, this on camera. Oh, how hardcore can you be in prison if you were in an acting class? Not very. I'll, I'm here to tell you. Uh, especially when you're like me and everybody thinks that you look like a cop. Like when I was on the street and I was copping dope and I was copping heroin, I was copping cocaine and I was shooting it in my veins. Everybody was saying, "Hey man, you a cop? <laughs> hey man." Hey man, I ain't, I ain't fixing to try. Hey man, hey look here. Hey you, hey, hey we ain't gonna do it like that, man. Hey man, I ain't trying to go to jail. I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to get a 50. I'm just trying to get a gram. But then I get locked up, and it turns out that yeah, the same guys I'm locked up with, they think the same thing. I look like a freaking cop. So what do I play when I join the drama club in Indian Creek? A goddamn cop. This guy was made for Hollywood. He should have been on Law and Order. You could have been a cop. Yeah, that's I always play the cop, except in real life. I always played the criminal. That's the story of my life. That's, uh, that's sort of ironic. What ironic. were you locked up for? <laughs> you for real? <laughs> I, I know what you were locked up for. I want you to tell these people what you were locked up for. I sold, you know, me being a gaming enthusiast, which is a whole nother deal, which is a great segue, by the way, because that's something I really want to bring to you after the After Prison show, is a convict's take on uh, gaming in general, because that's, that's really like my primary passion, but it led me down the wrong road in a number of ways. And how the hell do you get led down the wrong road? Well, video okay, games? I sold a couple of stolen 3DSs and yeah, I you, three years for that. So. You, did you sell to a cop? No. <laughs> <laughs> There was it might as well have been. It might as well have been. They got you in a buy bust with some freaking stolen video that's games. Right. So, right. video game wow. systems. Yeah. I mean, oh, no, that's all short. Whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Hey, look, man. I mean, to be a real deal felon. I mean, you've got to, especially in the state of Virginia, which I think is the lowest threshold for uh, a felony petty to sale. Well, from petty to grand, it's yeah. still in two hundred fifty dollars. Like, yeah. if I had done this or committed this um, this crime in another state, I think it would have been a, it would have been a misdemeanor. It would have resulted in. Uh, 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 yeah, but you did. But I didn't. Yeah. So it's Virginia, and that's. But unfortunately for you, Mr. Young, the plants you brought with you were illegal, and the line you crossed was real. Consequently, I was able to meet this uh, fine individual. We discussed I this. I won't go so far as is that, was I supposed to say fine. <sighs> Yanni, we scripted this. I was supposed to say fine. Okay, I'm just. We'll just stick with the. Finer than a motherfucker. Oh, that. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> I mean, you're talking about me just like selling my integrity. My integrity's not for sale. Well, it is for 50 bucks. Listen, um, I don't even have that, so. You don't have that? No. Well, look. No, yeah, so that's what it was. It was very small. Yeah. Well, so, Yanni, you got, you got locked up. You did your time. You've come home since then, and you're doing well for yourself. Yanni actually came home and started his own business. Yanni was doing the same exact job that I'm doing now, concrete work, and Yanni said, fuck this, and went out and started his own business. Well, you know, that's that's a really nice way to put it, but uh, to be perfect honest with you, Joe, they pretty much said, fuck you. I didn't say fuck this. They said, hey, Yanni? You? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. You're one of those small percentile of individuals who have actually come home and succeeded on a major level. We were actually going to come shoot an episode of Cribs with you. <laughs> we actually discussed this. 
And, um, yeah, down the road, sure. I'm, I'm interested in that. Maybe not this episode, but uh, certainly, yeah, episodes down the road, yeah, we can do that. I mean, we can cross that bridge. What is this thing right here? This is a, a Ducati? <laughs> I think that's a. That? Yeah, that's a Ducati. That's a Ducati. That's that's a twenty-eight thousand dollar Ducati. That's an Italian motorcycle. You didn't know, did you? Yeah, they make, that them, they make them that small. That's a scooter. That's a moped. Yeah, it's fifty cc. It's five and a half horsepower, one hundred twenty miles a gallon. Yeah. Actually, not made by Ducati as much as I wish it was. It's actually made by Honda. Would you like to start it up? Do you want to hear it? No, I hear this motor. This thing is serious business, folks. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Guys who come home after incarceration who cannot drive, this is what they push. I adore the art of vlogging. I, uh, I'm a huge YouTube fan and I absolutely adore what Joe is doing. And you know, we talked about this <clears throat> for literally two years while we were locked up. I mean, and you know, there's not a lot to do and I'm sure that Joe has talked about that. Um, I have not, but... You haven't? I thought that maybe you... you I have not, but we, I'm oh, glad so you're mentioning it, it now. It was action-packed in prison? Oh, well, okay, so what? Whatever. So in between <laughs> all the uh, amazing excitement uh, in prison with all of the, the gay sex and the ice cream making, uh, which was with powder. Did we not agree that we were not going to talk about the <laughs> oh, gay sex? Oh, no, that's a whole other episode. I'm sorry. That's an entirely different episode. Yanni has his own camera equipment, and wait till you get a load of this. This guy has... You know, he told me, he was like, yeah, I, I have a few things. And then all of a sudden I come over to Yanni's house and he shows me. This is not really a whole lot. You know, I'm a big believer. Oh God, look at that. <laughs> wow, I've got it all, Joe. I wanna know what love is. I want you to show me. We're not gonna discuss Yanni's age, but the question that I will be posing to each and every one of you watching this video, meeting Yanni for the first time is, how old do you think Yanni is? <laughs> Get a good look. Would you say 25? Would you say 35? Would you say 75? Because if you do, I want your address. I'm gonna come find you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt you. But remember, I am an ex-con. Okay. So shoot low. Slash cop. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's for that's for fake. This is for real. Shoot low. <laughs> You hear me? I am not even 30. Do you understand what, this, what I'm saying? This is not a joke, okay? I'm a kid. This has been taken advantage of by the criminal justice system. It's okay, brother. And I've had it. It's okay. And I'm taking a stand. You don't have to cry anymore. Thank you. That's all, folks. That means everything to me. From Joe and Yanni. Make sure you leave your comments below letting me know how old you think Yanni is. I'll be honest with you. He's a lot older than you think. <laughs> okay, anyways, look, that's Whoops. it from the After Prison Show. This is prison we're talking about, haven't you? We've got to cut you've this video now. You know, you've seen the shows, you know what happened. Yanni, we've got to end this video. It's getting way too long. I don't care long. if you want to end it it's or got not. It, it's I want to express it. my feelings on national we've got to stop. whatever, the people that care. In upcoming videos, you will be seeing the new camera equipment. This thing can actually photo telescope, telescopic. This thing can film Mars. That's a prime lens. That, that thing, doesn't telescope it. Whatever. You, you tell them whatever you want. That thing can film Mars, okay? That's like $10,000 right there. <laughs> I've never even seen $10,000, but that's it right there. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for checking out the After Prison Show. Until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every motherfucking day. Till next time, peace! <laughs> Pure T actor right there. I told you, this guy belonged in Hollywood. Found himself in a prison cell. Elsewise. Elsewise. Is that even a word? That's not a word. That's nothing even close Would to Would you challenge Elsewise. that? Elsewise. Isn't there a show called St. Elsewise? No, St. Elsewhere. That's right. That's from the 80s. You're too young for that, but I'm old enough. Shit, I know. What you want, shorty, what you need. My next run game, we ain't never leave. Counting up this money, we ain't never leave.